Hello, my listeners. It's time for me to bore you again. Yay! Sorry. Yeah, I've been having right now for the last two days. Yep. I know it's like it's late in the evening. Well, it's not to you, but yeah, it is to me because it is sometime past seven. Yeah, twenty past seven ish. I know that's probably not late to you, but still being on the computer for me, turning it on, etc. We usually watch movies and talk and watch some Michael McIntyre shows. So there we go. Yep, it's the tenth day, Friday, the twenty-sixth of. February, yeah. Yay, I have my, my GCSE tests for science next week. Uh, I'm still in my same seat that I'm usually in. A1, yay. <laughs> yeah, A1, yeah. I know, I like the band as well. I got a little drummy. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally bored now. It's a little drummy thing. You can do anything. <laughs> Any problem is I can't play my little thingy hoop. Along with my other thing in my hoop. And my, oops, you know this one, this is easy for you to know what it is, it's, 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 hang on, I was, preview thing, Rosie, I hope you're listening, because you might have to sing for this, it'll probably be a bit different, because I'll have all the backing stuff in it, etc, but there we go. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I'm not done yet. I'm gonna have like my little, my best thing I have to a drum. An Indian drum! <laughs> yeah, my little bell things, because I don't have a drum kit to go and smash, smash the cymbals. And I've lost my phone, so I can't go to George's house and record cymbals. <laughs> Pig smashed. Yep. Right, that's killed off two minutes of time. There we go. I had a hissy fit with the the recorder, the 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 the, 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 the printer scanner. There we go. I had a hissy fit with it. I got too early. Like, ah, it's so bad. Yeah, totally angry with it. Ah. Yep, it's evil because it doesn't like me. <laughs> oh, hang on. Another little preview thing. Yeah, it's gonna be merged together better, so expect backing tracks and well, well, expect something in there, anywho. Obviously not that, I just like playing that. What goes well? Weird, but okay. I've got to speed this up by the way, hang on, stop that music. I have software that makes this go faster and stuff, so don't expect me to play it that fast how it's supposed to be played. Yeah, yeah, I'm moving the mic around, woo! I like playing this one. Sorry, I sometimes sit with the chair kind of, the back and sit kind of to the side of it. 
so that means that my arms don't have as much flexibility because I'm bending into a chair back, so... Yeah, imagine that, but faster, so I'll try faster. Nope, can't play it faster, I can just play it slowly, so I'll just have to speed up on the computer. Oh well. So, um, yeah, this can be the last set of lyrics. Oh, found it. Yeah, I have my lyrics here. Yeah, the slow bit at the end. Rosie, do you have those those notes things I gave you can practice? <laughs> Okay, that's the last little bit. The last stanza, that's what we call it in poetry, but I don't know what you call them in music. It might be a paragraph. That's what you call it in writing. Okay. I know what I can do. Uh, I'm second thought. Where is this? See if I can read you a story. Yeah, you know, it's kind of like a really well prepared for it. Really I got a weird girl I score. Got no pictures to it, so just use a lot of you. There are no pictures to it, so just use your imagination. Yeah, it's my story, by the way. I have like three minutes left, so let's try some intro thing. Ethnic percussion. Ethnic percussion. Yes, right there. Ha! I have intro music. Da, 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 da. Oh. Some extract thing from my story. You can have some exciting bit, I'm sure I can find some of that. Ah, you can have some interesting bit. Ah, so we meet again, Hatiaro. The woman said, Do you remember me? Because I remember you. How could I forget? I think about what happened that day every waking hour. You robbed me of my life. Hatiaro said with a tear and then mumbled some sort of chant. The orb, glowed bri the orb glowed bright blue and then a beam of concentrated energy came blasting out of it. It didn't hit its target though. It disappeared in a midnight blue flash, the same colour as a cloak. The energy had been missed, Amy, because she ducked, but Leo was directly in its path. Too scared to move, it hit her chest. <laughs> Ta-da! My lame story is probably better without my lame voice acting, but there we go. Yeah, if you want to find out what happens next, or what's actually happened before it, because that's page 15! Da -da 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 -da. I know it doesn't sound much, but it's on A4 paper, so there we go. Yeah, it's like, so far, 20 pages long. Oh, you're not finished it yet. I have an epic battle scene thing towards the end sometime. Um, okay. Uh, Eckhart screamed as the wolf latched onto her left arm. She dropped her staff because of the pain. The orb shattered like glass when it hit the rock. No, my staff! screamed Enkog. Never mind. She kicked her tiaro, but with severe consequences. A chunk of her arm went with the wolf. The blood poured out of her arm like Niagara Falls. Sugar, I'm not healing mad, so I can't do anything. Give up, then? asked her tiaro. 
Never. Eskar transformed into a dark blue panther. I shall fight till the day I die, so kill me. Aha, there we go. I've gone over my target, but there we go. Ah! My lame voice acting. I need a proper roar for reading person, so there we go. Okay, love you all. Bye.